the Roadshow <laughs> Kitchen this morning. Nick Ray Bars here. Avenue N, Farrow and Sweet Potato Salad is what we're making. We're trying to actually figure out how many times Nick Ray Bar has been on the Roadshow. I would like to know that. We, we, should, we, we should run a contest here. We need to know the exact... Uh, the exact I, my ballpark is 178 times, not probably, including Summer Stars. Yeah, you're probably not that far off. I would like to know. One yeah. of these days we're going to find out. Well. Now, this is a great dish for, for fall because you have a lot, of, uh, a lot of really good ingredients, a lot of hearty ingredients to put this together. That's correct. And, yep. and the one thing I will say is, you know, sometimes when the cold weather sets in, people mm. start to think hearty or meats or heavy dishes. Right. But that doesn't have to be the case. Okay. You can still eat kind of light. Now, uh, you know, this is still running season for me. I'm doing a New York marathon in November. So you are? I'm, yes, I am. So Good for you. I, thank you. I'm really excited about it, and I and I've really been trying to live a much cleaner lifestyle. Right. To try to purge all of the nonsense out of my body <laughs> and put good things in. So. Today's salad is going to be a mix of greens. Yep. So a little bit of quinoa and a little bit of farro. We're going to do local sweet potatoes from Barden Farm, uh, uh, local uh, apples from Barden Farm, okay. sweet potatoes, chia seeds, dried cherries, pumpkin seeds, uh, fresh greens like arugula and parsley, a little bit of added protein from Parmesan cheese, and a super light vinaigrette made from uh, honey that's uh, from bees right on Blackstone Boulevard, um, sherry vinegar, a touch of olive oil, which is good fat, right. pinch of salt, super light, super lean, a little lemon for citrus and acid in there. Yeah. I mean. It's all it's all great stuff, and the properties of cooking it. We're going to poach the sweet potatoes mm -hmm. rather than dousing them with butter or oil. So, and what you're going to find with a salad like this is it's so loaded with protein. It's filling. It's filling. Right. It's filling. It's a great protein alternative. Yeah. So you know if you want to put a side of like roasted chicken with it or something, sure. that's great. It's going to make it's going to you know be that much more. But you know. These things are all great sources of protein. Farro is loaded with antioxidants, loaded with uh, right. amino acids, fiber, all good stuff. I can't wait, to try. I can't wait to try it. Yes. I can't wait to try it. It looks delicious. And well, it's going to work. I mean, you're, you keep leaning out I on know, me here, I'm Will. I'm down okay. 13 this pounds, is and I'm trying to hold it. All you're right. looking great, buddy. Thank you're you. You're looking great. This I can have. We're going to try this out. <laughs> Give this a shot, and we'll also talk with Nick about the, uh, about the restaurant as well and everything he's got going on. Back to you. Yes, he does. He's uh, getting things ready for us right now. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen, Nick Raybar <laughs> Avenue N is the place. Farrow Sweet Potato Salad is what, we, uh, what we're we going to put together. That's what we're doing. Got so, so uh, now listen, I cooked some sweet potatoes. Okay. So right. let me take these out of here. Yeah, and like potatoes. I said, Will, I, I decided to poach them today rather than roast them with oil or anything. So super clean, mm -hmm. just lightly salted water. Okay, cook them so they're just, just soft. Mm -hmm. Just soft. My trick is... When they're just a little bit al dente, a little bit undercooked, turn off the water so it's not doing this raging boil oh, thing. Right. They'll come out nice and beautiful here. So over here, I'm going to have you make this vinaigrette, Will. Okay. So I've got some honey here, okay? You um, said this is local honey, yep, too, that's right? local honey right from uh, Providence, right from uh, one of our beekeepers on Blackstone Boulevard. Really light. Um, beautiful light amber there. And then I have sherry vinegar. Now, a lot of vinaigrettes, you would add more oil than you would vinegar. Mm -hmm. Some vinaigrettes are double, some are triple. We're gonna do equal parts here, and the honey and the, the, the citrus from the lemon's really gonna balance it out. So olive oil, good fat. We're yep. only putting good fats in here. Pinch of salt, not all that, Will. No, oh, okay. Yeah, no, just a little not, bit. Little easy, bit. tiger, easy, tiger. <laughs> all right, and then a little pinch of that um, lemon the there. Lemon. Now, speaking of lemon, I'm gonna coarse chop some of these um, Barden Farm apples. So these are local, uh, you know, Rhode Island apples are the best, man. And I hate to say that because I come from the Hudson Valley, New York, apple country, USA. Yep. And uh, I just started eating these Barden Farm apples and they're just like candy. They're I like so, a good crunch. They're so delicious, yeah. they're so delicious. So now, when you're cutting apples for a salad, um, you know, a lot of the times they may brown on you. Mm -hmm. Now I will say that the Barden apples brown a lot slower than any other apple that I've worked with. So they're doing something right there at Barden. But uh, a little trick is just a pinch of acid and lemon and apple go so well together. So a little bit of lemon here also is going to prevent them from browning. Okay. So they'll be able to stay in the salad, you know, for the day or right. for the night or whatever it may Without be. Without getting brown. Without getting brown. So, you know, you have these simple apples. And now, oh, that came out great, Will. Yeah. That came out great. That smells great. It smells it? great. So yeah. sherry vinegar is a nice, you know, hearty vinegar. Right. Um, you know, it's it's not red wine. It's not balsamic. It's not anything that's like too, too aggressive. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit mild. And my trick is... If you do equal parts oil to vinegar, do an equal part of honey to that also. So you're not adding, you know, processed sugar or granulated sugar or anything that's yes. too aggressive in there. And you're using fresh local honey. It's good antioxidants. And it's actually really light. Even good with allergens. giving that honey in it, it's really light. So we will... Um and we'll put uh, the, the rest of this recipe together. It's all talk, coming together. Talk with Nick about Avenue N. He's going to run the New York, New York Marathon. That's big. What is going on, What is well, going on with you? Back that's pressure, you. baby. It is. Back to you. We are back in the road show kitchen. I'll tell you what, honestly, some of my favorite ingredients are out on the counter right now. Thanks yes. to Nick Raybar from Avenue N. We are making a, a healthy, delicious, yes. and... Um, 
like a beneficial salad. Very beneficial. Too. Good word. It's going to give a lot back to your body. Abs it's fuel. Yeah. It's fuel. You put this in, and you're going to get something in return. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about you when I was making this, too, because I know how Thanks. clean you eat, and I know how well <laughs> you live. And, um, you know, we we start to think about heavier food now that it's autumn yeah. and now that it's getting chilly. Which is okay. And I it's fine. Comfort it's great. Foods. Absolutely it is. But you don't have to. Mm -hmm. You know, you can still think hearty. You can still think seasonal. Yeah. These are very seasonally appropriate ingredients. Right. Um, and so, filling. And very filling. And great alternatives to, you know, a steak, or which I love steak, yeah. or a chicken, which I love chicken, or anything that you think about when you think about protein. Uh -huh. You know, these are high protein items right here. Yeah. Um, so let's start with... Um, you know, we're calling it a farro salad, so I have some some farro here. Mm -hmm. So farro is like a is a grain. It's like a wheat grain. Yeah. And um, you know, really, you know, loaded with fiber, loaded with protein, really tasty. I've got some quinoa here. Okay. Is that red quinoa? Red quinoa, exactly right. So that's really really nice. And but you just, could probably use any color. Totally, any any kind of quinoa mm -hmm. you want. Uh, I have the Barden Farm apples, which I just lightly um, dressed. Great place with, too. It's Barden like Farms. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love it there. A lot of sweet potato. So um, you know, I had mentioned before that I'm running the New York Marathon. Sweet yeah. potato is my number one source of fuel. Number one source of fuel. I love sweet potato. I love mm -hmm. beans. Um, I yep. love. Um, Lean proteins. I love alternative proteins. I, I love like all of this stuff. You don't need to run a marathon to enjoy this. No, salad. no, 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 no. <laughs> just enjoy the salad. It's okay. Um, a little bit of dried cherries, some pepitas, which are little little pumpkin mm -hmm. seeds for a little texture. You know what I've been hearing about cherries lately? Whether it's like true cherry juice or though they're they'll actually help you if you're sleeping. Absolutely. Have them beforehand, and it'll kind of be like a little sleeping. You're so right, and that's what that's what grain bowls like this are. That's why they're so special. Mm. They're so great for your like your overall lifestyle. Style, yeah. you know? They don't weigh you down. They give you long-term fuel. Mm -hmm. You know, long-term complex carbs like a like a sweet potato yep. is so good for you. You eat this today, you eat this tonight, yep. you wake up tomorrow, you're feeling better already. Mm -hmm. Now, I like green. I like green in my world, so yeah. I like the flavor of herbs. So a little chopped parsley. Okay. And a little bit of fresh arugula also. Now. That has a nice bite to it, that arugula. I love arugula. I use it often, as mm -hmm. I'm sure you know. I'm going to put a pinch of salt, okay, and then yep. some of this dressing here. So the dressing has the honey. Now, Will made this dressing, so you know it's got to be great. Yeah. It's sherry vinegar, uh -huh. and it's uh, olive oil, and it's honey, and uh, it's a touch of lemon. Now, look at this Look at this kind of coming together here. Hey, you know what, too? When you're eating this, you're going to get full because you're going to have to chew a lot. And that sounds silly, but I know they say when you're taking your time and kind of savoring each bite, it's going to make you more full. It doesn't sound silly. It sounds really, really intuitive. And um, Well, thank you, Nick. No, no, no. I mean it. <laughs> it does sound intuitive. And the reason is because, you know, when, when you're designing a dish, even if it's something like you use the word salad, you think, like, the first thing that comes to people's mind with salad is, like, greens. Right. You know, like, it doesn't have to be that. And blah to a lot and of people. Blah. I mean, that's not going to fill me up. That's right. just lettuce. It's just lettuce. And what and what kind of health properties does lettuce have? And, mm -hmm. you know, but look at this here, though. So this is. It looks awesome. You know, that is just fresh. And you can smell a little bit of that sherry vinegar and yeah. even the honey is kind of coming through on the nose also mm -hmm. and you see how we kind of cut some of the you sweet potatoes like soy. yeah yeah a little bit like a, a little bit yes it has that kind of that kind of uh, mm, when those two are mixing to together so you put a touch of the chi on top a couple extra seeds and then i've got parmesan cheese here mm -hmm. now parmesan cheese is like olive oil it's a really really fabulous fat okay you know so it's it's something that you can eat you're not eating you know you're not drinking yeah. Uh, or, or eating something that's not healthy for you. Easy to omit if you have like a lactose Very uh, intolerance easy to omit. That's why I put yeah. it on the end instead of yeah, mixing it in. Yeah, that's great. So that's it. You know, try, you know, you got to try this here. So I, look, I, yeah, I have I a four. Try I'm really on my A game today. You are. So, um, so <laughs> You're going to crush it in that marathon. Uh, yeah, I hope so. You're on top I, well, of everything. This is the kind of stuff. So, you know, you know that Tracy is an exceptional cook and she, she mm. keeps me really well fueled. So, wow. Um, so at home, that tastes awesome. it's really great, isn't it? Yeah. And once you start to bite some of the pepitas and some of the apples mm -hmm. and you add all those textures in there. A little so, bit of that chia. Yeah, the chia is great. Isn't the chia great? Mm -hmm. Like, chia is such a, like, unknown secret, yeah. like, thing. But it's it's loaded with, like, valuable nutrients. You know what? I just got a touch of that salt, too. Yeah. I don't yeah. think to put salt on my salad, but something like this. A pinch. Yeah. You saw how little we put uh -huh. in? That's it. That's all the salt in the whole entire dish here. Really, really good. Um, so, you know, eat right, mm -hmm. fuel up. This is the fall. It's a very confusing time. You know, we're all very lost. We're all very confused sometimes. But um, with, stay when it comes healthy to what with a eat. recipe like that. But awesome you can mix. stay healthy with a recipe like that. Well, thank you. And You're good welcome. Luck on the thank you so much. Thank you Find all. Find this recipe. It's a really delicious salad over at roadshow.com. Enjoy.